Welcome to my channel. Join me while I create a dragon mug. Dragons represent strength, good luck, oneness with nature, wisdom, hidden knowledge, and protection. And they're celebrated in cultures worldwide. I begin by throwing my form on the wheel, center the clay, make a cone, open the wall, compress the bottom, make a spiral, Pull the walls up, smooth the surface, trim the bottom, and cut it off the wheel. Once I've thrown the pot, I wait for it to dry and I trim the bottom. There are many ways to make ceramic mugs, from slab building, coil pots, pinch pots, wheel throwing. I'm most fluent on the wheel, and so I prefer to create my forms this way. Carving mandalas is a meditative practice that I add to each one of my functional pieces. The original meaning of mandala is a circle and provides insight about patterns of growth, life, and universal principles. This one will have 12 points to represent the 12 zodiac signs. This process usually takes me about 10 to 15 minutes each and serves as my unique signature. I use small loop tools to carve the geometric designs. I also indent the patterns with other sculpting tools that have a flat pointed end. This one is from a modeling carving tool set by Zyam. I'll link some of my favorite sculpting tools below in the description. And stay tuned for the unique way I sculpt a dragon. But before I sculpt onto the piece, I want to create some texture. And I'm carving a pattern that resembles rocks and scales. And I'm ready to attach the handle that I pre-pulled and set aside to set up. I'm scoring both pieces and binding them together with slip made from the clay trimmings from earlier. I secure the handle by smearing the clay to create a strong bond. This handle's a little large for this mug, so I pulled it until it was a good thickness. And once I've attached the handle, I carve a nice little thumb indent. And now I'll sculpt the dragon. I create the basic shape by rolling out a coil and I hand sculpt the general shape of the head and the body. Before attaching the dragon's body to the mug, I like to get an idea of how it'll be positioned. I like to sculpt the eyes first. It helps me to see the character of the piece and I'm creating guidelines to ensure the eyes are aligned and I can create a sketch of the eyes. The dragon is going to have strong legs and boom, just like that, it's sculpted. Once I have the position I think looks good, bam, that's sculpted too. And now for the wings. I'm going to sculpt the wings from a slab of clay. I'm drawing on the lines where the skeletal structure will be. I'm making sure they are symmetrical and cutting out the general shape that I can form with more detail soon. And I'm positioning the wings where I want them. And once I've attached the wings, I go in and add some extra musculature and detail. Most animals have similar skeletal systems with different bone sizes, and it's super helpful to study other animals to develop an intuitive understanding of the musculature and skeletal systems. I'm adding the horns and the scale texture along the spine. I'm using a loop tool to attach and sculpt the shapes and carve along the tail. I like to incorporate spirals into the composition. I'm drawing the skin texture on with a ballpoint tool. I hand draw the scales over the entirety of the dragon's body. I prefer to draw this kind of texture on versus imprinting it so that I can customize the scales to the individual. It's important to carve the surface details once the clay is leather hard so that the clay doesn't clump and stick to itself. With this kind of detail, it took me about an hour to carve the scales over the whole piece. It's very helpful to practice drawing if you're wanting to learn to sculpt. There are some overlapping modalities when it comes to drawing and sculpture. When I practice drawing, it improves my sculpting abilities 
and vice versa. That's pretty much the whole dragon. Thank you for watching and supporting my channel. If you enjoyed this kind of content, go ahead, like, subscribe, leave a comment about what you like about this video and what kind of sculpture and ceramic videos you'd like to see me make in the future.